Hi my friends, how are you doing today? I wanted to come on because I was writing a lot today about um, some different things, the stages of manifesting, and I wanted to share it with you. So hopefully I can catch a few of you here. thought I would come outside and sit under my tree. So hopefully you can hear me okay, and hopefully uh, our internet stays connected, but it's such a beautiful uh, place out here and I love this space here in my yard just by this big old pine tree. Just love it. So um, what I was thinking about this morning was kind of some of the stages of manifesting that I know I personally have gone through in my life and I want you to kind of check and see I wanted to share it with you so you could see where you where you fit so I I wrote it down and I have 11 stages of manifesting so the first step the first step of manifesting is first of all just recognizing that there is another way that there is a better and easier way to manifest in this world and this is when you first become aware of law of attraction and you start to look at okay well what is this and how does it work and um, so your awareness shows up there so then the second stage is you start to follow this path right so your belief is starting to grow because all of a sudden now you, you like you've learned about law of attraction attraction and you've learned that there's a different way you know it's about feelings so you start to play with this a little bit but now the second stage is, is like you're starting to see or experience um, support synchronicities coincidences and it's waking you up and you're kind of going oh maybe there is something here right you're starting to notice it so the next stage of growth with manifesting is when you begin to feel it so when you start to recognize that that it's the feeling that creates your world it's the feeling that you're using to vision into your future but you're also noticing that there's a special feeling that happens when you when you're manifesting it's like you get filled up with this warm feeling of love and grace right the fourth stage is you've now learned how to connect to that feeling in meditation so now you're meditating you're consciously trying to tap into that feeling right and you're reaching for it more and more in your life the fifth one is is that you're you're at the point now where you're like oh my gosh it feels so good when I can capture that feeling when I'm in that alignment when I'm in that space it feels so good and I want to feel that way more and more right and it becomes almost like an addiction for you you're like ah I just want to feel that way I just want to feel um, in alignment right so the sixth step is you're moving more and more of your life onto this path so you're following that feeling and it's showing up in your life you're starting to experience more and more ease in your life and things are manifesting in ways that you hadn't even considered right and you you're thinking hey you know what this really does work oh my gosh I did it and so your life is starting to show beautiful changes and you're loving it and it's coming in um, with more ease for you so it might still be intermittent at this point like you still haven't quite mastered that feeling but you're understanding that following that feeling is super important and staying in alignment is super important right and you begin to follow that that inspiration that feeling so the second or the seventh stage is that you're now have more and more feelings of of gratefulness 
like your gratitude is growing in your life and you're feeling more abundant and this is filling you up and of course that starts to show up more and more in your life on the uh, reflecting in around you right so it's not just that feeling inside but it's reflecting back at you and you know at this point that what is happening on your outside the outside world is your creations it is your your life is your canvas of your soul right so you're starting to take more responsibility for that so the feeling is filling you up of gratitude and abundance and you're beginning to walk more and more in alignment than ever before you really are on a path of searching for that alignment and how do I get more of it in my life um, it becomes a, a conscious mindset that you're like okay this is how I want to live my life now how do I do that every day right the eighth stage or step is you now have less and less focus on external conditions and more and more on your inner guidance so that that mm, that inner flow that has that is always there that is always running in the background of your life is now coming full into your awareness and the stuff on the outside is kind of just what we do every day but it's you're you you've shifted you've turned your focus inward and it's a beautiful step step nine is you start to move through your life with more grace and joy and all the stuff this is this is a really important step because all the stuff that you thought you wanted doesn't matter as much anymore you've had a few moments of syncing up to that feeling um, of being in alignment and and recognize the power in it the expansiveness in it and now all the stuff that you know you thought you wanted like it's coming to you I'm not saying that it doesn't come to you it's coming to you but it's becoming less important like if you wanted the, a bigger house or a better car or you know more money all of that is just kind of well it's okay it's gravy but it's not where your focus is anymore what matters most to you is that you're living your life in alignment with your soul you've connected to your soul and you just want to feel good you just want to feel that alignment right and I know I've been there I know I've had you know those moments of you walk in the side of fear and you're like oh my gosh I need to manifest more money or I need to manifest um, whatever it is that you want to manifest if it's a new job or I need to manifest new friendships or a better health and then other days when you fall into the you fall into that alignment that grace and you feel it you really really feel it and everything else becomes like teeny tiny insignificant compared to that right so the tenth step we're getting there the tenth step is you now want to um, live your life with your soul purpose because you're you've seen now that this alignment this following this feeling is really connected to your soul purpose and you know that you want to serve the world with the gifts that you came here for you have a purpose you have a reason why you're here God doesn't make any mistakes we are all here at this perfect time wherever you are at the right time in the right place with the right people around you that are going to help you move forward and help you serve in the world there's something that you have to do wherever you are and you're needed in that spot and everybody's energy is needed to come together and and walk walk their path right and nobody is an extra nobody is an extra you all bring your light you bring a light for a reason and there's a reason why you're here and so now you are 
recognizing that and saying, yeah, I'm starting to see that I have a purpose in this world and I truly, truly want to live in that alignment, right? So, you get excited, you get filled up with hope. Um, life becomes more exciting and filled with joy because now you have hope. Now you you can see that life is going to get um, brighter for you. And I won't say easier because it's not about it's not about having an easier life. Ease is a feeling of grace that we bring with us when we're in alignment. It doesn't mean that everything is going to be perfect in the outside world. People around you are still, you know, going to get sick or or die or relationships break up and you move out of, you know, circles of friends, you you change. But you're now walking with more grace. You are recognizing that it's all going to be okay. No matter what happens, it's going to be okay. And you've got this. And you've got an internal strength inside of you. And a grace because you know you're not doing it alone anymore. You know there really is, there really is a power there that is helping you walk this path. So the last stage is when you realize that there is always more. That, that there's more growth there's more learning. There's more layers unfolding. You don't get there and, and you're there. It's a continual unfolding. And it becomes an exciting adventure for you. Because you are creating with this universe. You are co-creating with a power that you never knew existed. And so now there's, there's newness to your life. The universe is bringing in people and events into your life and it helping you line up with your purpose. And you have that power and you have a creative flow coursing through you. So that's when you're experiencing the beauty of life. And I just, you know, I, I want you to feel that, that creative flow flowing through you because that is that is the sweet spot to creating that is the sweet spot of feeling that alignment and that's why i do what i do i love teaching art for people and i love bringing you through the experience of painting and so today i was playing around with my mandalas and i have to share something with you because something really cool happens and i love when this happens so i was playing around with this mandala you can see it I was finishing it up and I just yesterday got these amazing beautiful templates they're sacred art templates and they finally came in the mail after several weeks of waiting for them from my uh, coach Whitney Freya and um, I'm gonna help it. when we do our mandalas we'll be able to use these but one of the tap plates I pulled out and I had already had my mandala started and I pulled out the template of this one here and and this one is the um, the Sun Yantra so I pulled it out and I thought oh that looks perfect in there I'm gonna paint it in there so I put the template on I stenciled it in there so we get to play with stencils and then I went and looked up what that yantra means. The sacred symbol of the sun yantra is of loving yourself and being in that beautiful alignment of love for you and recognizing that it all begins with you. Just like the first chapter in my book says, it all begins with you. When you make the decision to start to work on you, that's when everything unfolds in a beautiful way. And and what was really cool was this mandala, as I was creating it, my intentions were, and I wrote it on the back so that, because I was afraid I, because we do layer upon layer upon layer of paint, I was afraid maybe I'd forget what my intentions were. But my intentions were, 
support, ease, momentum, and flow. So receiving that support, that ease, and creating a momentum and a flow. Well, that is perfect that I coincidentally, coincidentally, I love how this works. It's not coincidence. It's like picking a card every day. So the Sun Yantra is all about that. It's all about connecting and uh, to your soul, to the love of your soul, right? And allowing yourself to to just dive into that creative flow and start to create your life um, with purpose and intention and and loving your life and and wanting to serve. And so it was pretty cool. So I have several different stencils that we can use in our painting. So I just wanted to share that with you because it was life picking a card today. So mandala paintings duh. and here's the other one I did. They are so much fun to paint. I just can't seem to stop painting them. And I have an art show coming up that I'm supposed to be getting ready for. <laughs> so I am painting mandalas like crazy. And I want to invite you to my painting mandala workshop that is happening September 22nd. It's a Sunday. It's a full day. We're going to make the day of it. And I supply everything. And I even make some lunch for you. Um, I'm also having a second... Um, oh... Can't remember the dates now. A second date of mandalas. Oh, Tuesday, October 8th, the 15th and the 22nd in the evening. So these are three evenings, a session of three evenings where we will paint mandalas together. So if you're interested in that one, let me know. We do have Buddha, our Buddha painting, our second session of Buddha painting began this past Tuesday. Um, there is a full day class, October 26th. Yes, October 27th, and also a session of three Friday nights beginning October 18th, and I think the 25th and November 1st. So just let me know if you want to come, because we still have lots of space, you can come. Um, anyways, I hope that that helped you, that you enjoyed the stages of manifesting in your life, and this is what I do. I help you move through and my coach is amazing she's been helping me uh, clear out some stagnant old energy that I have been clinging to for over 25 years and it is starting to um, loosen its grip and dissolve and I'm so excited because it's showing it's reflecting back to me in my life there are things that are changing, big things that are changing, and things that have just happened that I never thought would happen, and connected with people that I never thought I could connect with, and it's just been a, a wonderful ride. So I am, I am a coach here for you. And I am living and walking my talk and and living more and more in my authentic truth. And I want to share that with you. So, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. And be sure to check out my website at janiscalant.com or at thecreationguild.com. Both of those will take you there. You can see the event under the events tab. I have uh, some of the dates for the Mandala and Buddha classes. And um, if you're interested in a coaching session with me, take a look at In the Flow Vibe Sessions and read more about it there. And I will create space for you and I to have a chat and see if we're a fit. So you can have a free discovery call. From me. Have a great evening. I am off to our school's uh, welcome back barbecue for all the students and for the parents and hopefully I'll see some of you there. So love you guys. Take care and I will see you soon.